cervical, total disc replacement. Essentially, the surgical approach for a TCDR is exactly the same as an ACDF. The patient is first positioned supine upon the operative table and subsequently placed under general endotracheal anesthesia. After this, the surgical incision site is marked based upon surgeon preference. This can be a transverse incision in a skin crease, at the proposed level of disc replacement, or a longitudinal incision if a larger operative field is required. The approach is left or right-sided, once again based upon surgeon preference. Optimal positioning of the implant should reproduce the natural lordosis of the disc space to be replaced. To achieve this, gentle extension of the neck with a roll underneath the shoulders is performed. Remember, cervical myelopathy can be acutely worsened by this position. If there is a concern that interoperative radiographic visualization of the cervical spine may be blocked, the shoulders should be pulled down and held in place, for example with tape. The patient is now prepped and draped in sterile fashion. The skin is incised. The subcutaneous tissue plane developed to the platysma, and the platysma is then divided in longitudinal fashion. The interval between the sternocleidomastoid and strap muscles is developed to the anterior surface of the cervical spine. A disc space is marked with a bent needle to accurately determine the appropriate level for planned disc replacement. Once the appropriate level is identified, blade retractors are placed under the longest coli muscles and distractor pins are placed into the vertebral bodies above and below the diseased disc. At this point, the disc is incised and disc material is completely removed.